It's Fitzy and Whipper with Kay Ritchie. Woo! Nova. Well, do you know what? Kylie Minogue's got a new album coming out and she's still creating music. How good is this? Brand new song. Would you say it, it's pronounced Padam Padam? Is it? Padam, it's padam. however you like it. Padam padam. <laughs> padam padam. However you move to the music, mate. Padam padam That's padam. right. You've got a remix already. You're Padam Padam Damming. And thank you so much. I didn't think that you were going to put that song in there that you wrote about me, but... <laughs> 10 out of Which t- one was that? Because I wrote a few. Well, like, oh, oh, 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. I, um, you know, I'm, I'm a little 10. bit embarrassed. <laughs> oh. I'm blushing as we talk about this, but I mean, thank you for putting it in. <laughs> I'm not even... Oh, You're an idiot. I won't... You're okay, an idiot. I'm not going to say anything. Kylie, <laughs> ignore, ignore the 10 out of 10 in the studio. <laughs> what about songs that have come your way, you've had a look at and you've thought, no, not for me, but then another artist mm. has made it big? What have you had on your desk which you let go? And maybe it didn't oh, suit you toxic. and suited other people. <laughs> oh, oh, that's toxic. right. Did you yes. have Britney Spears' yes. Oh, toxic? Yes. Yeah, so Toxic is written by one of the same writers, Kathy Dennis, who did Can't Get You Out of My Head. Yeah, yeah. So that was one that passed me by. But you know what? You have to just say, as a Britney song, it yes. is what it is. And perhaps if I'd done it, it wouldn't have been it's that. Not, but I did nab Can't Get You Out of My Head. So it is. thank goodness I'm not saying that about mm, both of them. Mm. That that was that was an amazing God. Because uh, what are the other the, the the hit songs? Was who see you didn't want diamonds, diamonds and yep. that went to Rihanna and stuff like that as well. I mean, you can't look back in hindsight, can you? you you've had so many singles anyway. You got to focus on oh, yeah. things, Kylie. Exactly. I do have so many singles and here I am with a new one today. But you know what? It's if you do something you love and there's no there is no right or wrong. Mm. And so to maybe by the end of an album campaign and promo and touring, you're ready for a cup of tea to sit down and you think, I don't know if I can do this again, but then, you know, the inspiration is there and you think, Yeah, but which what song haven't I done? What yeah. what song hasn't been written? So I am still hugely inspired by what I the get unknown. to do. Yeah. You go into the studio yeah. and you have nothing and you could come out with Padam Padam or, or something that's just really, you, you had a nice day. And you were just saying <laughs> off air as well that you are going to do a world tour and perform every song off <laughs> every 16 <laughs> albums. Which, wow. Which is going. That's Can you imagine? <laughs> You're doing the big, Right, well, you big... guys have formed the band <laughs> and I, what, so we start rehearsals this <laughs> afternoon. Imagine that six hours later on the guitar, Can your you fingers imagine? are bleeding. I oh, know, we love you, Kylie. Not, maybe not that much. I do, <laughs> not exactly. I do have to say, though, just knowing that we were going to be talking to you today, Mm. I just had this overwhelming feeling of real excitement and I think people love you too because you're part of their history, their childhood and, yes, there are new fans, but I I just Mm -hmm. think, you know, even even the suggestion of chatting to you before we even know what we're chatting to you about, it's would you like to talk to Kylie Minogue? Yes, please. It Mm. doesn't really matter. Oh, thank you for that. That's so kind. We we said no at first. It means so much to me. (laughs) And then the record label came back. Oh, I just hope you know how much you're loved, you know? We we really, we just, we think you're great. Well, Kate, did you ever know Kylie? Because it was sort of, Kylie, how long long were you on Neighbours for, Kylie? When was your last year on Neighbours? Two and a half years. I guess my last year was... 89? 89. So yeah, Kylie gotcha. would have been 89. on Neighbours while you were on Home and Away. Yeah, but we didn't cross paths because, of course, you were in Melbourne. I did work with Danny. Of <laughs> course, she moved to Summer Bay of and course. she was the, the bad girl, Emma. And I, I have yeah. to say, I think I've even told Danny this story that I used to share a dressing room with her in an old demountable out the back of Channel 7 at Epping. And she was a little bit older than I was. And so I was a little girl and she was a fully formed woman and, and, and this is, at, at 17 exactly. or 18. And I just remember watching her, looking at her and sharing a clothes rack beside her thinking, what a woman. I want to grow into a girl <laughs> like that. <laughs> and you, you, you actually called the green room once and I answered the phone and you must have, this is when there were landlines and you yeah. called Danny in yeah. the home and away green room and I, I was beside myself. <laughs> but Carly, oh, I know. 
so <laughs> cool. The phone. Kylie said you haven't got that pesty little upstarter. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <In> <laughs> anyway. Oh, Kylie. Oh, congr- that's awesome. Congratulations. Well, we're so happy that you're still creative like this and you are still producing new music. Um, the new album, Tension, is out September 22, but Badam Badam is out now and you can go get it and stream it anywhere that you want. Love your work and thank you so much for your time. We know how busy you are. Uh, you have warmed my heart and put a massive smile on my face. So thank you. Great to speak with you all and I'll see you soon and put Yeah, We love you. You, you do the same. Kylie. Love you. Thanks so much. Bye. 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 Bitsy and Whipper with Kate Ritchie. On Nova. All right, here we go, guys. Songs, song, 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 song. You know how this works? Oh. One word, you've got to put it into a song. Kate won last week. I don't know, remarkably. The carryover champ. Good luck. Uh, we do a warm-up round, as you know. Play along in your car. The word is break or breaking? Break my heart. Don't go breaking my heart. No, go breaking my heart. Break free Tom, by Ariana. Oh, I, oh, I want, want to break free. Oh, no. Okay, this is it's the about a break. Our oh, break. It's got to be a break heart. Oh, one. Break. nothing breaks like a heart, Miley yes, Cyrus. Yes, that's the one. Oh, got good you. Get, okay. All really right. Get. Great oh, gather. Just in there, right? My the God. End. We can't go out first round. We can't no, go out first. Really good like warm that. up, guys. Here is the first word for the official rounds. Uh, the word is boys. Boys, boys, boys are looking, looking for, for a good time. Oh, boys, uh, Charlie XCX has a song called Boys, doesn't she? Yes. Charlie XCX. Yep. Thomas Bryan. Uh, the, the boy is mine. Was oh, Michael it? Jackson. No, uh, no. Well, he may have said that, but no. Ooh, the uh, that... I think it was a liar, was it? A he liar. was not a liar. He... No, no. The singer. <laughs> the bo- oh, Brandy. The Someone boy's... was mine. Well, the, boy's... <laughs> oh, the boy is mine. Brandy. Brandy. The boy is mine was yeah. a song that Michael Jackson did with Paul McCartney. Okay, mate. Boys of Summer. Not a good time. Good old time. Love the Boys of Summer, don't we? (laughs) Tops off, lads. How hot a guy. Remember Cops in the 90s? Such a good That was such a good TV show. All right, we are all through to the next round. The word is want. I want to break free. (laughs) I don't want your money, honey. I I want want your love. love. Transvision vamp, Wendy James. Yes. Kate. Uh, I wanted to grow up and be her. Jason Derulo wants you to want me. Oh, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Hang on, it's not Did you know so you're a grown man with children? Which, so which is what you sing to your wife regularly, Tom. <laughs> it's not on my sheet, Tom, um, believe it or not. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Backstreet Boys. Well done as we move through, guys. Pretty easy round so far. The word is day. It's a beautiful day. You too. Don't let it get away. Uh, um, uh, um, these days, powder finger. Um, these days, days no, that days. No, that I'll you accept do it. Days? I'll yeah, accept you it. do it for everything else. Yeah, Tom, okay. would you Come accept on, Deo by no. yeah by Harry, no. Harry, Harry, Harry Belafonte? Belafonte? No, no, <laughs> no, no, no you're gone. Oh, Jason Derulo. Oh, oh, gone, man. They want to go. What have you got there? Oh, lovely day. Lovely yep. day. Bill Withers. Yep. Good on you, Bill. Oh, you know, no, 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 no. You don't need to play any Nickelback. All right, here we go. Okay, Fitzy and I. Oh, Kate, this is big. The word is, you're going to need to be quick here, middle. Stuck in the middle with you. In the middle of the night. Oh. Oh, in my Jeez, that was quick. <laughs> if I would love to beat Pitsy. Well done, on, well let's done. Go. <laughs> let's go, let's get into it. Let's bang them out. Let's okay, go. you ready, guys? You ready? The word is sealed. Sealed with a kiss. Yep. Oh. Yes! Sealed the singer? Seal, no, sealed. Sealed. <laughs> sealed. Oh. My lips are sealed. But my, um, my lips are sealed by... No. Oh. Lips, lips are sealed. Yeah, by the. Are you just saying a phrase? No, no, no. Yeah, our lips are sealed and by our Hillary Duff. Our lips are sealed. Tom, yeah. yeah. Oh, our lips are sealed. Our lips are sealed. Is it? No, song. this. That's yeah. Our lips are sealed. What is lips are sealed? You were saying my lips he's are sealed. He's in. He's in. Come on. He's, who, he's... Who's this? Who is that by? The Go Go's. The Go Go's. Yeah. Okay, here we go. Classic. Well done, Fitz. Lips are sealed. The word is candy. Ah. Uh, 
candy. Oh, oh. Bow, bow. candy. Uh, candy. There's another obvious one, Fitz. Candy, sh- candy shop by 50 oh, cents. There it is. <laughs> oh, no, Come on, standing up. Oh, the, oh, she's standing. Okay. The word is king. King for a day. What's that? King. 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 It's Google it. Okay, king for a day. Tom, oh, but yeah, king. Confident for a day. from Kate. King. Kings and queens. Queens. King. Kings of Leon. King. Oh, Kings of Leon. Great that band. That doesn't count. Tommy does got it? King for a Day. Yeah, King for a Day by Pierce the Veil. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Pierce the Veil, my favourite. <laughs> Kate oh! Ritchie, you've got it. Oh! Fitzy and Whipper with Kate Ritchie. Nova. You'd like to think if you're a 39-year-old woman, you're not living with pain every day. Are you? No. I was going to say, aren't you 44? Well, that was such a nice compliment, oh, you sorry. saying that I was 39 oh, years old. Even though you would take the pain for the age, would you? I'm quite happy with how old I am Me or how, how young I am. I and you're only as young as the... <clears throat> um, any any back pain for you or anything, Kate? What's happening in your body at the moment? Do you, is your body starting to slow down a bit? You know, I'm well, not talking to you about that. No physical pain. Um, oh, can you touch? Oh no, actually, Kate showed us uh, last week that she can ridiculous amount of flexibility. You are yeah, really you can flexible. Touch your toes. Yeah. You can actually go down and touch your wrists. Man. onto yeah. the top of your toes. Well, I went back to Pilates yesterday, and that she said I was very flexible. Or oh, what do they call it? Hyper. Uh, hyper extension. Hyper something. Hyper did you do flex. ballet when you were younger? I did ballet. Oh yeah. And I did. Um, what about ballet? <laughs> I did tap and I did jazz and I was like just a dancing little monkey. Yeah, gotcha. Yeah. <laughs> what about that? What, what's that on the... On my nose? Yeah. I don't know what you're talking about. Sorry, you just bandaged up a bit. No. I saw it in the pap shots. No, no, so no. Thought... It's my rap career. <laughs> oh. Getting underway. Right. Just sorry. call me Nelly. <laughs> um, anyway, getting back to the 39-year-old woman who is has been living with pain 4,000 days. She had four kids. She's 39. She goes in for just some a, a procedure yeah. with a doctor. This is in Colombia. Oh, look out. Yeah. <laughs> Gosh. She goes into hospital in Colombia, comes out, and she thinks that everything is absolutely fine. Mm. 4,000 days later, they're only just realising that what has happened is that the doctor who did the procedure decided to leave a... I'm making this up now. It is a needle, but I'm going to say a dirty little needle in there. No. See, needles find their way out of the body at some stage. I heard that they do. So they will go through... It's a long process... But a needle, it's, there's been reported it cases the body. of someone going, what the friggin' hell, have I stepped on something? They'll pull a needle out and they'll find out it's from a previous operation. Does Kate. it, does it um, find its way out a, a, a an orifice? <laughs> no. Or a pore in the skin? No, like just that. it'll get jammed somewhere and the next thing you know you'll feel... A I sh- wasn't asking you, Whipper. <laughs> I have the answer for you. No, it's like you posed it to the room. Out, it, it can go all the way like out your feet. What do you mean? You wake up one day and you think you have a bunion and it's a... Oh, I tried to give you the answer, mate, but go on. <laughs> I mean, you can listen if you want. Two ears, one mouth. No, More does. time listening. The, oh, bo- oh, the oh. body will reject it, <laughs> but it takes. it's a long process and they'll get rid of it somehow. Well, Is this it only one... needles whip or there's other things in your body that they can No, get the rid needle of? was the main one. That was, the, that was sort of the wives' tale that it would go up through your foot and then could actually reach your heart if it didn't come out through a joint or somewhere nearby. But my mum had an operation and she couldn't work out why the wound wouldn't close, it wouldn't seal. Was it an appendix? No, they'd left a staple in there. Oh, oh yeah, you're right. Oh, you know what actually... Oh, a stapler? No, you know what actually happened? <laughs> she had her tubes tied. And when they do that, they clamp them down with a metal um, bracket. Like, well, well, like the down. thing that, when what? you've had... Um, you haven't eaten all the chips. Can I, I haven't just, eaten all the chips and you can, can get those yeah. plastic things. Can I just you can step in here? Yeah. Your, your mother gave birth to three children yeah. and your father made your mother get her tubes tied? That's a different thing altogether. You're pointing again. Uh, that's a different thing altogether. It's a, it's a big point. But what had happened was what? one of them had come off. So it was a dodgy... She was the one having the babies. <laughs> A dodgy job Stop, that had been done, yeah. and then because she then had an operation, the wound wouldn't close, and then it ended up coming out. It found its way out as a foreign object and fell out of where she'd had a separate operation. Oh, what, the stapler? Yeah, the clip. That is amazing. She's right at Harry. Tori's given us a call. What did the doctor leave inside of you, Tori? Hey, guys. Um, kind of similar story to Whipper. I had shoulder surgery a while ago, and I got pins and wires put in my shoulder. Yep. 
anyway, I went into the removal surgery, came out of it, and I'd had so many painkillers and the body was rocked from the anaesthetic that I started vomiting a lot and throwing my shoulder forward. Mm. And one of the wires ended up popping out the side of my arm, penetrated my skin, came out, and they were like, oh, that was meant to come out. So I had to go straight back under and get the wire removed that they'd forgotten to take out. That is... So was it from the force, Tori? You were... From the force that the... It was from the force. I was just throwing throwing my body so hard that it just knocked it and it just pierced through the side of my arm. And I was like, oh, my God, what's that? that, <laughs> that now, that <laughs> is... Yeah, I'm a robot. That's a power spew right there. <laughs> I mean, if, you, if you're, you're vomiting that hard that you can push out a pin out of your shoulder, that is a great effort. Throwing a bit of steel cable out of my shoulder. And Whipper with Kate Ritchie. Nova. This is unbelievable. It's the, one of the greatest days of your life. It's amazing. It's the day that you get married and you walk down the aisle with the love of your life. You, all your family, your friends, the closest people. Stressful day. Around you are Can there. Mm. The ceremony. And you know, when the ceremony's finished, you sign, you, you, put, you put down your signatures and it's official. Yeah. I love that moment that when you get up, whether it's in a church, it could be outside or wherever, and then you get to walk back down the aisle and high five everyone Woo! and they throw rice everyone cheers yes. confetti. So you're not allowed to throw confetti anymore no you no, can't you're not. that's the environment <sighs> so Kate I'm going to show you this I think you're going to get quite angry but uh, Cynthia oh. Umunzi is her name she's actually had to take this down off of TikTok because it got 40 million views <laughs> and it's very controversial because as she's walking back down the aisle her husband is holding oh. her hand with his right hand, with his left hand, he's on his phone checking messages. Are you serious? Oh, is that? I don't think okay, I... so this is them. This is them. Look at <gasps> her. He's not even she's, looking. She's looking at everyone. She's so happy. Is he doing dog face with a filter or anything like that? He's not. He's not acknowledging anyone. Oh, look, she's even having a little boogie there. Yeah. There's obviously music playing. Her oh, I'm so happy. Oh, he's still on his phone. He's made it outside. He's still on his phone. I think he's doing Wordle. He's still got the phone um, in his hand. Put, That's five put letters. the phone away. Oh, my God. And, and he's back on it now. Yeah, he is. <laughs> Well, someone just liked something on Instagram. He had to check out who the follow was. I've got a feeling that if you can't keep your husband's attention while you're walking down the aisle after just being married, yeah. you have got no hope I mean, is he trying beyond to, that. Is he trying to organise the Uber to the reception? I don't know, Katie. He wants well, to make sure know. the car's there on time. He's playing, it, he's playing her favourite song as mm-hmm. they exit the church. Yeah, well, poor Cynthia had to take the video down because the majority of the messages was, I'm Break sorry, Cynthia, but this marriage is over. It's mm-hmm. doomed. Oh it God. is doomed. It's like when it's like when one of them get angry. You know the tradition of the you cut the cake, you have a bite, and you you slam oh, it into. I into hate your, that. Do you hate that? Yes, so I think I. it is so. I actually think the act of putting cake in someone else's face is to humil. It's yeah. is humiliation it's like it's and funny. it's abuse. It's like throwing a shoe. Do you think it's yeah, a, spitting, yep, spitting spitting on someone, putting cake in their face? I actually yep. think it's highly offensive. Well, I, said, Timmy, I don't think my, it's funny at all. One of my good Timmy mates, Boston. Timmy Boston, <laughs> he <laughs> went in Port Douglas. I think he got married. But I remember because I was in the party, Kate, and I remember Timmy was so nervous that he had to knock off a Peter Stuyvesant before Simone got there. So he's smoking away, and then all of a sudden he didn't know that the car had rocked up. Simone's halfway down the aisle, and he's turned around and he's just lit up a durry. <gasps> And I, I then watched a man annihilate a cigarette wow. in 30 seconds. <laughs> oh, he didn't put it out as soon as he saw her. Oh, and yuck. then and then as she just got to him, this beautiful moment, Timmy just puts it into his, his forefinger and his thumb and he flicks it off. Wow. Off to the side and he turns to her and he says, you look so beautiful. And today. then <laughs> imagine the, nicotine you all may, over her. You may now kiss the bride as he drains <laughs> His nicotine lungs into her mouth with his black tongue. Oh, yuck, Timmy Boston. Well, at the worst possible time for someone to be on the phone, if you've got a story, 13, 24, 10, what have you got for us, Steph? Uh, hi, so I'm still mortified. I was just scrolling through Facebook a couple of weeks ago and someone had actually gone live at a funeral. Oh, gone was live? Like, was that for the yeah. people that couldn't attend the funeral? Well, um, 
Look, I've assumed so, but I feel like if you can't really be there, then it's not really something that you would want to air out. Yeah, <laughs> no, I agree. Weird, I it? agree. Yeah, Are you don't, watching? Don't they do those things where you can kind of link in now? Yeah, they do. Especially stream throughout. It. COVID, yeah. they had to introduce these things for all of the people who couldn't attend mm. and who wanted mm. to. There have been a lot of people who have been busted as well with a viewing of the body oh, have selfie. decided to come for one last selfie. Mm. Coffin selfie. And get themselves in, in their cake. Like, 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 like. Put like, a couple like. of filters on it. Do so sad face. Like, liking a <laughs> liking a sad like liking a sad moment, isn't it? I Is know. it just acknowledge? Do you I like it, or are you acknowledging it? Well, you're not liking it. Are you you're just recognizing. You put the crying filter on yourself mm-hmm. if you don't oh, feel too emotional. Yeah, if you can't. <laughs> Brings, or you do the one with the, the eyes wide open and the triple chins. Or oh, what about the beret and the hot I'll do bread the French lipstick. beret on the dead body. <laughs> that is so funny. Die the happy Frenchman. <laughs> I've never seen him like this before, oui, oui. guys. Like, 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 like. Pitsy and Whipper with Kate Ritchie is a Nova podcast. For more great comedy shows like this, head to novapodcast.com.au.